Hey guys, nothing like a little bit of tech issues to make your prayer late at night. Anyhow, I'm working around the house, tried to record earlier, didn't give up, figured it out. Um, let's do a quick prayer. I know it's late, you'll probably be seeing it in the morning. That's all right though. The Lord is not going to um, be a stickler on that one. Lord, we just thank you so much for this day. I believe it's the 29th day. Ooh, 28th day, 29th day. Today is 29th day. Lord, I thank you for letting us be able to come together. I thank you so much for, for your hand. Lord, this country that we live in, you, you listened to our forefathers who called out to you, who spoke of the providence, who spoke of your hand and your guiding, Lord. So much of what we have in our laws are based on the Bible, on your word. Lord, I ask you that you would remind us um, and remind those who are in judicial positions where our laws come from, Lord, that you would quicken their minds, you would stir their hearts. Lord, I ask you also for mercy and justice, that they might be mixed appropriately, Lord, that, that there might be a true um, balance of them. Lord, I ask you that as we get closer and closer to this election, that you would, um, well, you're in full control of it. Whatever that looks like, Lord, I ask you that you would just allow men's hearts to not grieve. I ask you that men's hearts not run towards evil. I ask you that you would be with your people um, and that those, you know, you gave us your word and that word is to be our lamp to our, our, our path that your word is to be our perspective. Your word is to be our behavior guide. Your word is to be what makes us who we are as your people. Lord, that that as people of the book, we should look like you. And that means we should look similar to each other as we look like you. Lord, I ask you that you would help us, help those who believe in you to come together. Lord, I just thank you so much that you sent your son, that you Send him and he died for us and rose again that we might have eternal life. I thank you so much for that, Lord. I thank you that while we're here on earth, that we do what you have us to do, Lord. That we are in the place that you put us to speak the words that you've given us, Lord. That for those that will be brought before leaders, before judges, before those in power. And Lord, those who are just brought before other families and friends, that you would just let us be in and out of season to have words of encouragement, words of love, and words that point to you so that we might have hope. Lord, I pray for our military. I pray for our leaders. Lord, I pray for the President of the United States that you would just be with him. Give him rest, Lord. Give him physical and mental rest. I know it doesn't have to necessarily be the the qual, uh, quantity, but the quality. And Lord, I ask you that there be a time of real recharging for the whole family um, that you would be with them. Lord, I ask you that you would also just touch the lives of those who are involved right now in this whole election process. And Lord, where there might be any type of um, cheating or any type of even, oh, uh, I don't know, stirring the pot that that not be permitted. Lord, you just change the hearts of those who go in to do it. You just have them stop what they're doing, Lord. Lord, I pray for the actual city of Washington, D.C., that that you would just go through that city, Lord, and you would stir the hearts that would change and stand for this, this country, Lord, that we might, I don't know if we'll ever go back to as we were a Judeo-Christian nation. And, and that may not even be where we're supposed to be now, Lord, as we go close, move closer and closer to you. And if not, then Lord, give us a peace about it. But let us as people, your people, be the lights. If this nation's not a light, okay, but let us still be a light. Lord, I lift up Israel as they are to be a light of the nations also. Lord, I know as we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, that means real trouble is um, heading that way. And Lord, I don't fear, but I feel that as we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, that also means trouble is truly heading our way. I ask you to give us discernment. Lord, I thank you that we live in a country that we can pray. I thank you we live in a country that we do have sheriffs and police and, and those who, who uphold the Constitution, uphold the law, that you would strengthen them. Lord, any bad apples in those um, 
departments that you would remove them. You'd have them found out and they're removed. But Lord, for those who are good, those who are truly men of law, you would keep them and strengthen them and let them move up in the ranks that they might clean out the houses that that um, need to be cleaned out. Lord, I pray for the state, uh, our state, Louisiana, and, and all the states, Lord, that for their legislators, for their governors. Lord, I pray for our governor, um, that you'd give him wisdom, Lord. And I ask you that as the confusion of all the stuff for the COVID, as, as just there's just lies and confusion everywhere, that it settle, and Lord, what rises is truth. And people, no spirit of fear, Lord, that they not fear, that fear is not, it's just not good. You say you haven't given us a spirit of fear, so may we not have one, Lord. Um, and let, let your people be able to be an example of how to not walk in fear. Lord, I ask you also that you would be with the countries, with the believers that are in the country, the underground church, Lord, that I know one prayer for such a big thing, but it still can be heard. And I, I call out that you would just minister to them, Lord, as they cry out to you, that you let them have the feeling of peace that you've heard them. Lord, as those in Syria and Iraq and Iran and Jordan and even those that are in the Palestinian authority areas, Lord, that, that they're crying out for you, that you would hear them and that you would touch them and you would give them peace and you would allow them to share the good news to those around them and you would protect them lord and lord for those who are not um uh, not protected but for those who are becoming martyrs martyrs for your word that their story be great and be strong through all i thank you for that and i ask you that you would just give everyone a good night's sleep or a good day if you're seeing it in the morning in the name is Yeshua Hamashiach. Jesus Christ. Amen. Y'all have a good day or night. Sleep well. Bye.